Whether your go-to salad is a grain-based harvest bowl, a classic kale Caesar, or a hodgepodge of whatever happens to be in your crisper drawer at the time, it's indisputable that salads are a meal that does the body a whole lot of good. In fact, many health experts agree that plant-forward meals benefit just about every part of the body, particularly the brain, heart, and gut. That said, why is it that some of us may polish off a delicious salad, yet feel a little crummy after the fact? Although salads may be great on paper for some, it may be the root cause of some digestive discomfort for others. According to gastroenterologist Robin Chutkin, MD, FASGE, post-salad digestive distress can be avoided and certainly isn't a reason to give up on this food type altogether by any means, especially considering that salads are an entree packed with nutrient-rich ingredients. First things first. As with any gut health issue, it's always a good idea to book some face time with your GI specialist to evaluate for an underlying health issue being the cause of your salad eating woes. However, in most cases, even with conditions at the root, there are ways to enjoy dietary greens with a little intel to remedy the problem, so you'll be back to tossing together delicious salads that'll make your taste buds and GI tract equally happy in no time. I am diabetic, with gastroparesis and acid reflux, and these tips have helped me continue to enjoy salads. The dressing could have ingredients that irritate the gut. Dressing absolutely makes salads taste even more delish, but there are some common ingredients in them that can cause irritation to the gut. Keep in mind, this is especially important when it comes to buying store-bought salad dressing, and why it's so important to always read the nutrition label to learn what's actually inside the product. To that end, the amount of oil, salt, and sugar can impact your gut health. When buying salad dressing, read the label and go for ones that are low in sodium, sugar, and aren't packed with any questionable ingredients known to cause digestive distress. On the flip side, you can also always make your own salad dressing at home instead, that way you know exactly what's going into it. Plus, if you're looking for a bit more flavor complexity in your dressing, DIYing is your best bet. I personally enjoy olive oil and balsamic vinegar as my go-to dressing for greens. You might be eating too many raw veggies at once. It's important to call out that vegetables in all their glorious forms, including baked, steamed, or raw, are full of amazing nutrients the body loves, chief among them fiber. Though your gut loves the macronutrient, if you aren't used to eating a lot of fibrous foods at once, or if you have an underlying condition, as I do, you could be overloading your gut. Even though fiber is great for you, too much in one sitting can kind of get stuck in your digestive tract. Smaller portions at one sitting can give good results. Lightly steaming or roasting some of your veggies before tossing them in your bowl can help too. This is because cooking breaks down some of the fibers so that they're easier on your digestive system. Steamed broccoli or roasted asparagus, paired with a bed of greens, can be a match made in heaven. And if you're looking for a salad base that has your gut, spinach is a great option. It's very soft and easy to digest. Excess sugar and salt could be in your toppings. The same logic applies for other common salad ingredients, including nuts and dried fruits. The sugar can encourage the growth of the wrong kind of bacteria. Said bacteria often leads to a higher production of gas, causes inflammation and bacteria imbalance in your gut. While nuts are often a good source of healthy fats and protein, depending on how they're prepared they can be doused in excessive amounts of oil and or salt, which can be harsh on the stomach. Salt, in particular, can make you retain more water. As such, it's important to consume both of these ingredients in moderation. If you have a favorite nut or seed, look to buy them raw, unsalted, and, whenever possible, sprouted to get the most nutrient benefits. Legumes could be adding more fiber than your gut is used to. If your digestive system can't handle loads of raw veggies, legumes may be tricky for you too. As such, it's another food you'll want to rev up slowly, or eat smaller portions of. Consuming legumes and raw veggies at the same time could make your gut work harder, not smarter, than it's used to. Again, that doesn't mean you should avoid either food. It just means you may want to decrease the amount you eat at one sitting, or only one at a time. Opting for canned legumes, albeit convenient, can sometimes cause digestive distress. This is because they have higher quantities of raffinose. Raffinose is a sugar that our bodies struggle to break down. But wait! Don't toss the chickpeas or black beans just yet. Soaking and cooking them first can help keep tasty legumes on your plate. 
cooked beans taste better, they're more nutritious, and they're often less gas producing than the canned beans. Though it'd be so much easier to just use your can opener, soaking legumes at home pre-digests some of the raffinose, making them much more gut-friendly and worth the extra effort. Keep in mind. It bears repeating that if salad causes you any digestive distress, it doesn't mean you should avoid bowls of greens forever. It just means you have a little investigative work to do. Once you've pinpointed the reason for your discomfort, whether it's getting more fiber than you're used to at once, or excess salt or sugar, hopefully you may soon be able to enjoy your greens with low or no uncomfortable side effects. I hope this has been helpful. Health Products Website, besthealthwithlee.com.